Hey guys, it's Jessica Radloff from Glamour's Obsessed. I am here at the third annual Critics' Choice Television Awards, which are kind of the precursor to the Emmy nominations coming out next month and the awards themselves in September. I caught up with your favorite cast members from American Horror Story, New Girl, Big Bang Theory, just to name a few, to find out what's coming up and what some of the best advice they've ever received. This you'll want to hear. Are you ready to host? Sort of. I mean, and yeah, I'm just, I'm keeping nausea at bay, but yeah. <laughs> well, one of our 10 celebrities every fan should meet. You deserve it. You are so nice. You've been so nice this whole time. And I want to say thank you for that. I mean it. Like, I feel like this is such an honor to be here because the critics can make or break a show and make or break a performance. And I don't know. It's just, it's kind of. I'm in awe that I'm here right now, so. I'm the only member of the cast here today, so if we win, I'm looking forward to jumping on stage. If Max wins, I'm going on stage. Yeah, what's up with that? I know he had to go back to New York for a movie, but how can he leave you just to hold down the fort by yourself? I'm capable, you know? You know what? I could be Max for the night. You should be. Can we sit together and, like, I'll come up with you and I'll be Schmidt? Mm -hmm. Like, dude, what's up? Yeah, he doesn't talk like that, but yeah. I know, I know. I was just trying. But he don't talk like that at all. How does he talk? Like, like this. Hey, man. You know, I'm not the type of person that's like, oh, we have to win, you know. I, I'm just, but it would certainly be nice. I, I mean, absolutely. You can say, hey, check this out. I'm on a show that won this award. You can read that in your face. I have to congratulate you because we had our Glamour readers vote for who they wanted to win tonight. And the Red Star. Aww. So congratulations well, from our Glamour. Let's what hope do you want to say to them? You guys, I... Here's what I'd like to say to all of you Glamour readers, in case this is the only opportunity I have to accept an award ever in my life. Thank you for making me your number one. I don't think I've ever been number one anywhere. So I'll take it. Thank you. Well, I got to tell you, we opened up the voting process for the Critics' Choice Awards to our Glamour readers, and you were the overwhelming pick for best guest performer in a comedy series. Your performance on The Big Bang Theory was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Thank you. Thank Please you. tell me you're coming back next season. Yeah, I talked to Chuck, uh, Chuck Lorre, and uh, yeah, it's a continuing. We, I, I'll probably do two more next year. Uh, it's it's great fun. They're, it's such a wonderful cast. Uh, they aren't spoiled. They're, they're still full of the enthusiasm. They, they make you feel at home right away. You know, I went to law school for a second, then I dropped out. And the reason I dropped out was because I looked around the class that I was sitting in, and I thought, I do not want to spend the rest of my life with these people. I need to find a new crowd. And that's really what happened, and I became an actor. So, you know, drop out of law school. Look what can happen. How do you pull off playing so many characters and personalities like you do? I mean, how do you go home and sleep at night juggling everything? I don't sleep, really. I'm kind of like sleeping in characters I mean I'm like switching in my sleep it's a lot uh, it's a lot going on in my head what's it like working with Carrie Russell and did you ever oh. watch Felicity yes you yeah. did watch Felicity my favorite show is a young man growing young boy growing up who loves well then you know what I gotta ask you wow. Noel or Ben Ben did you say Ben yeah it's Ben Noel yeah. or Ben yeah Ben why why Ben his eyes who couldn't dream me what is the best critical advice you've ever received? Something that maybe wasn't fun to hear, but in the end did something that you live by and makes your life better? Oh my goodness. Um, there's so many things that people have said to me every day of my life. How can I choose one thing? You need bangs. Are you kidding me? And I was a kid. Like, I've never not had bangs since I'm a kid. And then I, I started to grow them out like my freshman year of college, and then my roommate at the time was like, get the bangs. I was like, all right, I'm going to do it. Have fun at all costs. I was told not to be so Julie Andrews when I was in So Julie Andrews? <laughs> yeah, which I love. I love Julie Andrews. I well, how do you be so Julie Andrews? Well, I think, you know, we were doing like a sexy musical number and I was being a bit Julie Andrews about it. That's stuff you never remember. You never remember. The, the, the one piece I remember was I was doing a play in London and the critic wrote, uh, there was more life at the table that Matthew Rhys sat at than his own performance. That's the stuff you remember. Never have a plan B, because you'll fall back on that plan. Never. It came from my parents, and it was always be yourself. Always be yourself. Don't let anything ever change you. And that's how I am. I mean, that's just that's how I like to do things, and I, I like being me. I love glamour. Oh my God, I mean